Okay. Okay, so I'm back for part three of my video. And so we're going to be doing some blackened grouper. Um, so I just want to go over a little bit what I have here for you is I've got the 12 inch uh, Pampered Chef cast iron pan. I do have it preheated. It's pretty hot right now. You might see a little bit of smoke coming off. And I did put a little bit of grapeseed oil uh, in there to get it started. What you want to do is you've got to be very careful about how much grapeseed oil you put in there. Um, again, we're not looking necessarily pan fry, but we want enough oil in there we can get a nice crisp uh, uh, sear on the fish. So let me show you what I am using is some red grouper uh, right here. Um, and so I've got a bunch of pieces here. This is our dinner tonight. For all you Catholics out there observing Lent, um, I don't know if you stepped up to grouper, but you can use any kind of white fish. Mahi you can use, uh, tilapia, cod, those are all great fish. Uh, but grouper is nice because it's meaty, and we're going to go right into this. So in the comments section, I will post the blackening seasoning recipe, and you can see some of my seasonings here. So what I'm going to do is, using some tongs, I'm going to pick up my fish. And what we want to do with the blackening seasoning is we almost want to coat And we're going to drop it right in. And I just kind of swirl it a little bit to get it started. Okay. Now to actually cook the fish and to turn the fish, I'm going to use what's called a fish spatula. You never want to use tongs when you're actually turning the fish over because you could end up breaking the integrity of the fish and you don't want to do that. So we always want to use a fish spatula, something thin that can easily get underneath because as you know, with a lot of white fish, they flake. And so we do have to be careful. As you can see, the nice thing about this 12-inch uh, cast iron skillet, I can fit a lot of seafood in here. So I cut this up, tossing it. All right, so that's good for now. Okay, so what we are looking for, I have a little spot here that needs a tad more oil. And if you remember my first video when I talked about cast iron, remember the heat is going to come into the handles. So you always be going to be real careful when you are trying to touch the pan that you have something to grab it with because it's going to be really, really hot. And I just kind of swirl that around. Now, other thing you need to be careful about. I don't have it on right now because you won't be able to hear, but because we're using blackening seasoning that typically has cayenne, black pepper, things like that, you have to be very careful about getting your eyes anywhere close to this as it cooks because the cayenne and things like that can uh, get into your eyes and make them kind of tear up and cry. So uh, you got to be very, very careful about that. Okay. So what we're looking for is if you have preheated your pan correctly, your fish will not stick. We talked about that, creating that non-stick surface, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is using the fish spatula, you can see how it has kind of an indentation, a curve into it. That allows you to get right underneath and check. That's perfect. What we're looking for is that nice blackened char starting to happen. And uh, on this stove top here, I've got it on kind of a medium high heat. And because I'm doing grouper that's thick, um, I am gonna turn the heat down uh, to allow this to be able to cook properly. All right. Nice, beautiful color. So, blackening seasoning can be as spicy as you'd like it to be. You have to put some type of dried pepper in there um, that really is going to give it its heat. Now, a lot of people that don't do spicy, uh, like for this recipe, it calls for a whole tablespoon of cayenne. I just did uh, about one and a half to two teaspoons of cayenne um, because I have a pregnant wife. So if I serve her a tablespoon of cayenne, uh, it's not going to end well for either one of us. So we got to be very careful, though, when we're doing this, that we evenly distribute the blackening seasoning so that way we don't have lumps of cayenne. So when you make this cayenne, the uh, blackening seasoning recipe at home, really whisk it up really, really nice so that way you make sure everything's evenly distributed. 
You will also see in the recipe that you can use either smoked paprika or regular paprika. I, of course, I encourage you to use smoked paprika. So, the nice thing about this cast iron pan, remember we talked about holds the heat really, really well. Um, what I typically like to do for pieces like this that are a little bit thicker, is once I get them seared <coughs> on both sides, I'll flip it on its one side and um, try to get like all the sides with some color. Kind of like that, okay? That way I can kind of sear off the sides. Now with seafood, what you're looking for is more like 145 degrees on internal temperature. Um, and so the nice thing about grouper compared to say cod or tilapia, cod and tilapia are gonna flake super easily um, and they'll kind of almost fall apart. Whereas with the um, grouper, it's gonna stay together because it's more of a meteor fish. Looking really nice. So, um, please post comments, questions, concerns uh, in the comments section below when I post it. Um, as before, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to let this cook. Um, just keep it going until I hit about 145 internal temperature for my fish. And then what I'm going to do is pull it out. And I will take a final picture that I will put in the comments. And then I will come back and do a real short video showing you how to properly clean your pan after you uh, kind of messed it up and even when you do it's uh, super easy so uh, I'll be back with some pictures so happy eating